Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Now on this day when I was recording, Twitch was having some issues. Or I guess when I was live streaming and then when I, I ripped the VODs from Twitch itself. And so some of the issues are are there still. What happened was at the very beginning you'll notice that like there's a time skip essentially from where we last left off of like a minute. Where like I was on my way to the port to try to figure out what to do with my stowaway problem. And what happened is I get to the port in the beginning of this episode is I'm already at the port talking to the guy who's going to help my stowaway problem. So there's a little bit of a time jump there. Um, the other thing is that because stuff was having issues, I ended up restarting within like a couple minutes. And I had to lower the bit rate on my stream to really, really, really low in order to get it to run. And I was going to stop streaming fairly soon after that. But all my friends were like, oh, no, just keep going. Like Everybody was like, it'll be fine. So what I didn't realize at the time for the next three hours is that the VOD is not great. It, the sound is fine, which is nice. I mean, they don't have to piece it together by hand anymore, which is always nice. But sometimes during movement, at least in what I'm editing right now, during movement scenes, um, there's a lot of like pixelated stuff going on and I really apologize about that. I hate putting up stuff like that. This is one of the reasons I've actually stopped um, live streaming Coder for now until I catch up on all the, until I get really close to catching up on all the like backlog of recordings I've got and I will start streaming it again with better quality, like a better system in place. So that way I can have better quality VODs. Um, but for now, we have about, I think about 10 hours left of my backlog from last year um, to go. Maybe a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so for now, for the next few hours at least, um, next like five or six episodes will be maybe a little bit weird. I don't know I don't know if the recording, it's, if, the, if the actual video itself will show those problems or not. Cause sometimes it does a good job at like covering them up. But if there are, I do apologize. Please bear with it. And um, we will... We'll just see how things go. So thank you all so much for putting up with everything. And the actual VOD will start in a moment. Fine for you guys? Okay. I accidentally hit my mouse. So, um... So I ate, the guy talked a little bit, but he says his young daughter was kidnapped. So he's like, he represents somebody. Basically, his young daughter was kidnapped by those raiders many years ago and has not been returned. Might you have news of her? Her name is Sasha. Uh, do you believe she's still alive? Kachi chu ita dundonga. You malita kuto dun. Chilamula ne nindu bobo. And this is where I had to restart the stream for a second in order to get the settings to work so that the stream would actually run. So there's a little time skip here, but the, the, what do you call them? Dialogue subtitles are up so you guys should still be able to see if whatever, what, what the dialogue that happened, I didn't get too far ahead. Anyway. I at least want to get this little mission done, but I don't know. I don't feel I feel like I can trust this guy. He says it's not. I've been kind of stalling, but he like wants to like bring her back. But he sounds like a slaver. I don't know. Yeah, I changed the bit rate and actually restarted Streamlabs. So, hello, Larry. You don't trust him. What do you guys think? Should we not tell him? Should we not tell him, or should we? I don't know. I feel like we could keep her on our ship, kind of like the Gizkos. I think it's fixed, Gibson. Oh, and hello, assassin. I don't know if you heard me before, but I definitely said hi earlier. <laughs> when things were starting to blow up. All you heard that time was assassin, and it, maybe I was actually getting assassinated. Who knows? <laughs> Choose for yourself. Why? I don't know. I don't trust this guy. I don't, I don't trust him. I have no idea who you're talking about. I don't know. 
She didn't say that she did, that she wanted to go back to Dantooine as far as I know. Like, I don't think... But I don't know, maybe she was so young, she doesn't know? I don't know. I all of a sudden don't trust this guy. Like, maybe it's because I don't trust male Twi'lek in general. I don't trust them. They look sleazy. It's true, I can reload. Alright, I was... I don't know... I don't know who you're talking about! I know. I am, I am, I am racist to male Twi'leks. I'm also sexist. Specifically, male Twi'lek. Um, is this something the local authorities should handle? Manaman Atota! Haki Jukrata Bola Shui Chongatong! Chongkun no Bunka Mulera Kunkile! Kunkile no ba! What Mulera. Oh, whoops! I missed that. As is often the way on this planet, if a citizen wishes to accomplish something, they must seek to do it themselves. Problems with Mandalorians come out of Dantooine? You bet your buns they are! I've killed so many! It's their voices! They sound so sleazy! Uh, is there anything of interest on Dandooine you could tell me about? Okay. So he's just gonna stay here? Okay. Okay. Okay, but the name of Rundia. There's a on my ship by the You can come on board and see her if you like. Then I can see if she, like, remembers him, maybe? Okay. I mean, no, I'm not certain. I'm as certain as anybody can be with limited information. All right, she only speaks a smattering of Mandalorian, but I was able to figure it out. Like, he just oozes <laughs> the cheek of it. The male Twi'leks voices just ooze like don't trust me, you know what I mean? Certainly, I'll bring you to my ship. Achuta, wonga kun bi stulpi kikumoyana. Dong patuga smak delia. Oh boy, cutscene! Or at least we're transporting into my ship. Kun da di ho donga kun hanka bi. She can't understand you. Mulera <laughs> Kipuna, bona na kichu. Takom juice tak miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hodunga. Dong abuk shami no nok. What? I don't know what this says. 
Tong Ki Ba Non Tong Tek Selima Wanga Kun Bikin Tong Hai Tuam Jiji Jum Lumpa Nita Poe Tikito Dolpa Da Bong Gwaleo Gandona Chu Chut Kachi Chu Ita Dundonga You Malita Kuto Tun Chila Mulan and Nindu Bobo Wanga Kun Bistang Ba Mulira Did I just need to like explain it to her in Mandalorian? Cause he was just like talking to her in Twi'lek and she's like, I don't know what you're saying. And she was like afraid. But then I explained it to her in Mandalorian. Gone choo choo. <laughs> yeah, he did, he scared her. I don't know if I should leave her with him, but something about her father and she's thanking me. Okay. All right, well. A journal entry was added. Bye. Bye, Sasha. It was nice. It was nice having you on the ship. Uh, okay, so nothing was actually added. Maybe we should go to Tatooine. Wait, no. That's where we were. Tatooine was kicking, Tatooine was kicking our butts. Where's HK? I'm gonna try to re I'm gonna try to repair him again. HK, where you at? Are you in the cargo hold? I don't remember where he is. It's better than her remaining on board. Coder two gets bumpy. All right, all right. All right. You've convinced me. If it's, any if it's anything like the intro to Mass Effect two, I'd rather not have a kid on board. How are you doing, little guy? Can you construct a programming spike for me? <gasps> okay, not yet. <laughs> no, should I be happy about that? Can we follow up? I'm hoping, because it said entry added. So I'm hoping something pops up, but it might not. Oh, save. Okay. Ask you some questions. Uh, you don't even know what I was gonna ask. Oh. Just chime in. Okay, save. Oops. Uh, just chime in. Weep, boop, boop, boop. Weep, boop, boop. Johanny, how you doing? Yes. What is it? Something wrong? I... I have been bothered by something of late. Uh, what is it? I never told you where I came from, did I? Where I grew up as a child? <laughs> I suppose I was trying to deny what I was feeling. Are you hitting on me? Uh, no. Uh... The video got low quality. Well, that's just the way. Uh, Johnny looks good in black. She does, doesn't she? She looks really good. What? I have been wrestling with my feelings inside, trying to come to terms with it, but I find I cannot. I must have someone to blame. Someone to blame for the destruction of my homeworld. Someone who is responsible for the death of everyone I have ever known except those on Dantooine. Uh, you mean... Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious Bastilla. Taris, my homeworld. Oh! 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 That whole planet that got destroyed? I remember that. It's okay. Yeah, well, it told me I had to lower the bit rate to 500. I don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't stream for too much longer. Yeah. The planet is still there, just a bit on fire. Everything, literally everything is destroyed. No, oh, keep going? Okay, okay. I mean, as long as it's not a big bother. Okay, okay. I just, you know, I got it. it's fun to hang out. Like, I don't mind, as long as you guys don't mind. Okay. 
I'm sorry, Juhani, I did not know. If it were not for you and Bastila, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there and your fault for rescuing Bastila. What? Without your intervention, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my childhood. Uh, I, but we, I, uh, she's actually just, she's, she's, uh, that, that's, I mean, I get it, right? She's grieving, she's trying to come to terms with it, but that's a big stretch. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's your fault for existing on that world at that particular time. It's like, you know, technically she's not wrong. The fact that we were there is what encouraged them to blow it up, but can she blame me for existing? But yeah, she's venting. I Just let me vent my anger. I need someone to blame. Something. Anything. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child, I learned there. It is as much a part of me as the air I breathe. I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. If it was not for you, that world would still exist. Hmm... Uh, I am so wet. No, we'll do the calm yourself. Remember the code. Like she, I feel. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's not the way, but she she does have issues with remembering the code. So I don't know. Yeah, she's definitely venting. I don't know, and that's why I don't want to be like. I don't know if she's venting. I don't want to be like calm down. Remember the code like a jerk. But uh, mostly I just want to say I'm sorry. Yeah, I just want to say I'm sorry. I know. I suppose I realized that. But it is so hard to lose your entire past. You would not understand. I mean, it's still, your past is still there in your head. It just doesn't exist in a physical location. Sorry would be honest, yeah. Yeah, I feel like honest was the best way to go. It'll be alright, Johnny. Yes. Yes, I suppose it will. As long as we remain focused on our task, it will. I am sorry. I will try not to distract you in the future with my trivial experiences. No! We should stop for now. It's not trivial to go through grief. This is a grieving process. Um, I do want to... Is this... Oh, I, I do have a Jedi Knight robe equipped, but I could pick between a red one or blue. I like the blue. Okay. Stick with the blue. It's uh, playing, me playing Coder, Rum and Coke. It's a pretty good Saturday night. Nice! Do I have Force Valor? Yes. Oh, how do I look at that? How do I look at, like, my... My skills? Do I not have... How do I... Can I like not equip my companions if I don't have them out with me? Fourth tab... Oh! I didn't realize! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! I didn't realize there were these right here! Okay. Empathy... Improved. It wasn't it... No, it's powers. Whoa. This page lists your force powers. I have not been to this page yet. The further you trade the dark side, the more expensive light side power becomes, and the less expensive dark side powers become, and vice versa. No! I need to stay in the middle so I can do all the cool dark side stuff! Okay, where is it at? No, what? Maybe I don't. Oh, I can! Look! I can do- I can change people- Okay, down here I can change people's stuff. Wow, light side adjustment plus 10? Oh my gosh! To use the- my dark side powers- Oh, my, this one's neutral. Oh, are the neutral ones like a lighter red? And then the super dark side ones are a bright red? Maybe that makes sense. No. Use Force Valor to boost intelligence, which will boost your armor. I, do, I don't have Force Valor. 
Is it a power? Can another character give me valor? I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, I can still cast it. Just costs so many more force points to do so. I need to, I need to be angry at somebody so I can be neutral. Being neutral seems like the way to go. Jeez. Okay, how's it going? Mm, can you help me with the problem? Uh, maybe a grenade? That's the cockpit. I don't want to go there. Giovanni. Oh, what? What? HK! Yeah, what do you want? Give me more war stories. Hmm. I think I'll tell you a bit about the recent war we had with the Republic. That might be more familiar to you. The one where Jedi Revan beat my people. We started by conquering worlds outside the Republic. We did it quietly so the Republic wouldn't really know what was going on until it was too late. When we finally did hit the Republic worlds, they had no idea we were coming. We came in through three invasion corridors in adjacent sectors. Anyone who put up a fight, or wouldn't fight, was crushed. We raised whole worlds trying to provoke the Republic into fighting us. I don't particularly enjoy wiping out worlds for its own sake. But the cowardly tactics the Republic defenders used left us little choice. Oh, my. What? What do you mean? Hiding in the homes of civilians, using families as shields, thinking we would not use appropriate force on their bases inside major cities. They underestimated our resolve and what measures are acceptable in war. Those who cannot defend themselves should not be around those who can in battle. If annihilating a city is the kind of power it takes to overwhelm a Republic shield device, then that's what we did. Necessary force to destroy all opposition. But killing people is wrong! That seems very childish. And the Coder 2, your light side, dark side alignment affects which characters you get on your cruise? Wow. That's... wow. But it, that kind of sucks. Because then you don't have, like dissenting viewpoints and it's just an echo chamber mandalorians reminds you of krogan's canary not sure why well i can see it because the krogan and the canary are very like they're like in the mandalorians they like have like one mandate that like rules their entire like culture and they follow it very religiously so he goes for the March Simpson to kill everyone, let God sort them out, I guess. Only between two characters. Okay, okay. You could have found another way, though, my dude, to, to, to maybe not. I mean, if people were actually using their families as shields, that's really bad. But if people were just trying to hide with their families, like, they're not using them as shields. They were just trying to, like, stay together as a family unit. But maybe he doesn't understand that as a Mandalorian. I have no time or patience for cowards. They deserve to be hunted down and exterminated like vermin. There was no honor in wiping them out like rats. But some of your forces did redeem the Republic in our eyes. Especially later. How did they redeem themselves? Later, when Revan had joined the war. But we'll get back to that. We've wasted too much time no, already. You Is there something else you, you want to You told me you were going to tell me a war story with Revan! When Revan joined that... And now you're not? Now you're gonna dangle it in front of me? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Okay, that's how I saw it as- Oh, Grammy! Hello! Welcome, friend! I think that's how he saw it as a Mandalorian, not as a family unit to stay together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He saw it as like a cowardly thing to do for the warrior- For the people he thought should be warriors to stay with their families, but- you know, yeah, that's how he interpreted it. That's interesting. 
Coder, you love you love Coder 2's implications, but you'll talk about that at the end of Coder 2. Well, we've got a couple more years left. He did trick me. Mandalorians are warriors. Sure, they're honorable, but yeah, time to work for that story time. <laughs> no! He tricked me. No! What a jerk. Statement. Stores in your memory. Affirmative. If you be request, I own. Let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. <gasps> now, yeah! Class three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have recovered information on my owner previous to the commercial officer, Master. Intriguing. Okay, okay. The last repair required requires a repair 17? Holy cow. Statement. The man and lawyer wanted to trick you with another story before telling you the story you wanted to hear. It's true. What's so intriguing, HK? Statement. It appears that my previous oh. owner was a human senator on the planet Coruscant. A man of importance who obviously appreciated quality craft. Doesn't surprise me that a senator would have an assassin droid. Seems you've been around. <laughs> Observation. It does seem that way, does it not? I can still remember all the glittering lights of Coruscant. Very pretty. Can we go back there, Master? I do remember that I was very pleased to be the property of a senator. One of his assistants discovered my assassination functions later. The assistant was quite oh, alarmed boy. and told the senator I should be scrapped quickly to avoid a scandal. Naturally, the senator had me eliminated. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. The assistant was quite alarmed. So I'm not talking about a nice senator, I see. Observation. <laughs> Senators are not nice, <laughs> They are either on top of the game or yesterday's news. Whoa. My master told me that frequently. I see. I was most proud to have partaken in the political system of the galaxy. During the time my owner possessed me, he gained significant rank. Given time, I believe he could have become chancellor. I even eliminated a few key opponents that he did not ask for. Freebies, if wow. you Wow. Wow. Yeah, okay. You can do that? Answer. Certainly. Why not? I am an intelligent droid, you know. I see an opportunity, and I take it. And my master was most pleased with my work. Observation. I think he would have done far better had he not allowed his use of me to become personal. He set me on his Whoa! wife. Whoa! Whoa! We just had the sex bot scenario. We don't need another one. I know he means assassination, but still. Should have just voted... A vote of no confidence. What could possibly go wrong? Yep. So he's probably the chancellor right now. Well, apparently he would have done better if he had not let things become personal. So I think the senator is probably dead. And why would he do that? Answer. I am unsure. The human was most agitated and angry. I believe his wife had done something that had displeased him greatly. I was to go to their summer estate and terminate uh -huh. his wife, along with whatever male companion I discovered yep. there. This is so it's so rich to me, because guaranteed that senator was cheating on his wife, but any time a woman tries to, like, cheat on her husband, he gets so offended. It's like an attack on his manhood. But it's like, you're the one cheating as well. Like, it's only fair if both of you get to cheat on each other. You know what I mean? You love and are terrified of this guy at the same time. Yeah, he's he's hilarious, but he's also like probably the most terrifying person on my crew, including Candorous. A killer droid is a sex bot. It sounds gruesome. It is. It probably would be. Well, yeah, and that's the thing. Well, okay, so why be married if you're gonna cheat? It's for political powers, generally. Like, like, like I was gonna mention that, but then it's like you know what? Like in this situation where politics is key. People in some cultures would have like political relationships and in some time periods have political marriages, but they could like see other people. They were only married for like political ties. And then like they could just like have their fun sex affairs on the side, you know? But 
I mean, in, in like everyday life, it's like, why would you cheat when you're married when you could just get a divorce and it wouldn't topple an empire? In it, you know what I mean? Like it wouldn't really do anything. So, don't cheat, kids. Just get a divorce. It's easier. People vote, yes, people vote more for married people than single people. That's true. They think they're like a uh, uh, wholesome, you know, like nuclear sort of like, or I don't know. Like people just think that married people have it more together, I think. Maybe they do. I don't think so. <laughs> Marriage is to create an alliance. Love is for the peasants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So... His wife was cheating on him. Statement. I have no idea, Master. Cheating seems to be a relevant term only when one is caught in the act. Otherwise, it is viewed as intelligence. Interesting. So, I journeyed to the southern continent, but it appeared my master was not far behind me. Apparently, he regretted his activation of the protocol. When I found the wife and her companion, I proceeded to launch my attack. But my master interposed his own body... And was destroyed. Interesting. It was rather a strange meat bag thing to do. Do you not agree? Naturally, I shut myself down, my master being terminated. Interesting. What happened to you then? Statement. I believe the senator's wife was unsure what I was or what to do with me. It was she who sold me to the corporate officer, an acquaintance. Oh. HK is speaking true. He is. He's not an HK isn't an assassin rogue so much as an assassin like barbarian. <laughs> Have you recovered any other memories? Answer. As previously, oh, I nice. found a few more programs which will enhance my performance. A most gratifying discovery, in fact. There is still nothing from previous memories uncovered. You will have to operate again if you desire to find them. With luck, I will discover the stimulus to unlock my core. And all this will be unnecessary. I do thank you for the attempt, however, Master. Because of your repairs, HK-47 now has a permanent bonus of plus two to his defense rating, in addition to the plus two dexterity bonus, bonus from your earlier repairs. Yay! Candorous. You've heard from Candorous how the Mandalorians started their war on the Republic and the success they had at the beginning. If you talk to him later, he might tell you how the tide turned. Johanny. You've learned a lot about Joanna's past now. She was, in fact, raised on Terrace, the world which is yet destroyed because of you and Bastila. Some of her bitterness may be explained now. If you ask after she has calmed down a bit, she might tell you more. Yeah, the death of that owner shut him down. The wife unwittingly sold the droid to the executive. How the senator acquired HK-47 is unknown. We still have many, we have many leads to chase on HK's past. And there you have it. We had a lot of nice chats today with a lot of our more murderous crew members, <laughs> but it was really cool. The HK stuff's really awesome. I'm really enjoying his his story. It's very interesting, and Candorous is a really super interesting guy as well. So I really like all the nuanced characters in this game. It's super great. My dog's making noises in the background, and I'm going to go just be mad at him. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. hope the VOD wasn't too bad. Uh, quality wise but please bear with me as the next few vods made the, I'm gonna do my best but you know there's only so much I can do with a uh, with a recording that was maybe not the best quality but thank you all so much again and I hope to see you in the next one